Integration into the jobs market as key to successful integration to society. Germany needs workers, that's why the business community here welcomes immigration. But the latest figures show that in the past 12 months alone, welfare uh, payments to asylum seekers in Germany rose by more than 20%. So how easily are migrants integrated into the jobs market? To talk about this, I'm now joined from Stockholm by Tino Sanandaji, economist at the Stockholm School of Economics, and in London, Christian Dustmann from the Center of Research and Analysis of Migration at University College London. Gentlemen, a very warm welcome to you. Uh, we start in Stockholm, Mr. Sanandaji. Uh, how is integration of immigrants working out in uh, um, Sweden, in particular integration into the jobs market? Yes, as your uh, report made clear, it's not working out and the numbers unfortunately have been pretty stagnant for the last 15 years. And to give another a few more figures, of uh, native uh, Swedes, about 80 to 85% of working age population work, but among non-Western Im immigrants, only 52% work. And among, for example, Syrians, it's 55%. And what we sort of observe uh, the last, as I said, 15, 15, 20 years, is that it takes about uh, 15 years for uh, each cohort of refugees and uh, family reunification to reach about 60% employment rate. And after that, the number stagnates. So, you know, 15 years is a very long time because a typical immigrant is only on the labor market for about... 30 years before time for retirement. Can I just interrupt uh, you there, uh, Mr. Sanadaji? Why, why is the record not better? That's, a, uh, of course, a difficult question, but I think that fundamentally the explanation is human capital because Sweden is a very, very skill-intense knowledge economy and uh, the immigrants tend to, not, not, for no fault of their own, uh, lag in human capital now. That includes education, as you said, about half the asylum seekers have uh, don't even have uh, high, high school degrees. And uh, moreover, there is a big difference in language skills and in labor market experience. And what we see is that uh, people with immigrant origin who have Swedish degrees and have good Swedish language skills, there is no major gap in income, for example, between them and the Swedes. However, if you have a big gap in human capital, there are vast differences. Okay, and uh, let, me just, uh, let me just eat. interrupt you there. Sorry uh, for that. Let's talk to Mr. Dussmann there uh, in London. Mr. Dussmann, Germany needs immigrants uh, uh, to stabilize its work workforce in the, in the long term. Uh, will there be an economic benefit, uh, you reckon, from this recent uh, wave of uh, immigration? Well, that kept to be seen. Uh, we, at the moment, don't uh, know very well who will actually, in the end, uh, have their asylum applications uh, be approved. Uh, we have very little information about the educational structure of those immigrants who, in particular, come from Syria. Uh, so at the moment, I think this question is very difficult to answer because we don't simply have the evidence uh, to make any statements about who is arriving uh, and who, at the end, will have their applications uh, approved. The question is, well, why don't we have the evidence? Mrs. Sanadaji seems to have good figures from Sweden. Why do we, don't we have any good figures from Germany? I don't think we have good figures for Sweden either. So Syrian, uh, the Syrian uh, migration uh, movement is a very recent one. Uh, it always takes time to collect data, to collect data in a comprehensive and in a representative way. And that cannot be done by interviewing people on the move that will always be uh, unrepresentative. Uh, we have no data because at the moment the courts haven't decided uh, on many of the application claims. So I think we have to be very careful uh, to make statements about the economic integration, in particular uh, of immigrants who come from Syria. Uh, it is not just the case for this immigration, but it's the case for every immigration that the first steps of integration take time. It's not just the acquisition of language, it's also to understand the labor market, to locate the best jobs, etc., etc. So I think to make statements about the success of an immigrant cohort just one year uh, after they have arrived as asylum seekers uh, is very early. What do you think, Mr. Sanandaji? So the, look, this differs from country to country. So the Syrian refugee to Scandinavia is started at least three years ago. It's uh, and we have 
good data from both uh, Statistics Sweden and Statistics Norway. We also have from people who got their asylum already approved because this is not started. I mean, new. the recent steep increase is new. But before the steep increase, we had years of migration from Syria. And by the way, we also have data from Syria itself. According to the World Bank, before the war, 4% of the Syrian population had um, college degrees. And in Statistics Sweden so and Statistics may... Norway, Please, the, the numbers is that about 10%, because people who have education tend to be more likely to move, about 9 to 10% of the Syrian uh, uh, refugees self-report having uh, college degrees, which is a not very high number. Your response? Yes, yes if I may uh, just uh, add to that. Very so, briefly. of course, uh, Swedes are very different. We have uh, highly skilled Swedes and we have unskilled Swedes. Uh, the same is, of course, true for Syrians. So I don't think it is uh, very meaningful uh, to make statements about what uh, the composition of the Syrian uh, migration uh, to Germany will be based on figures for Sweden. Uh, the migration Why would it years I mean, ago to look, Sweden I may be... No, because, well, I mean, it's a simply a, a matter of looking at data. If you look at Polish migration to Germany and Polish migration to the UK, we see that the composition in terms of age and education is dramatically different. So there is nothing for me to expect that the migration of Syrians, which happened three years ago to Sweden, is very similar to the migration of Syrians who arrives in Germany today. That may be the case, but it may be also okay. not the case. So I think we have to be careful uh, to deduct from uh, historical migrations to one country uh, to uh, what may happen to today uh, in, in, in the case of Germany. Gentlemen, I'm afraid, I'm afraid we have to leave it there. We, we are running uh, out of time. Thank you very much for your participation in the program. Very difficult matters. Thank you very much.